Hey, what's up, guys? Just checking in here uh, with the newest matchmaking update for Street Fighter V. Mir, what's up? How are you feeling, by the way? You, uh, you um, well? It's crazy up there. Yeah. Doing all right. A lot of people uh, are I mean, asking about you. Isolation. Yeah, isolation, man. <laughs> isolation. That's um, country is locked up. But otherwise, yeah, I'm doing all right. That's good to hear, it, man. I, I, I found out, reading the YouTube comments, people realize how to spell your name, finally. <laughs> Even though you've been yes, putting your we, name to start the final video. <laughs> well... Maybe not enough videos or not in the description. It's true. Don't worry. You'll hammer it out next time. So, yeah, if you guys haven't been keeping up with the Street Fighter news, uh, basically we had uh, a netcode update. And uh, for me and for a lot of people, it was a, a huge improvement or a good step in the right direction in terms of connection. And then people were, and including myself, felt that the next thing that Catcom should tackle is the actual matchmaking because we're playing people really, really far from ourselves and yeah. uh, the bars seem inaccurate, and uh, yeah. So Capcom did go ahead and do that and release a matchmaking update, uh, which is nice, but now I feel like we kind of went one step forward, two steps backwards. Um, in my experience, uh, the game was in a, a terrible state before the netcode update, and then it's been improved, and now it's even worse than even before that update, <laughs> for me, personally. So we're gonna be talking about that, but do you know exactly what they changed with the matchmaking update, Mir? Well, okay, so they have changed the um, restrictions on the uh, basically level of connection brackets that you select when you select your uh, matchmaking settings. Yeah. So, you know, when you have five bars only, four to five, three to five, et cetera, they have changed the ping, basically, of these parameters. So, for mm -hmm. example, five bars used to be 30 ping, 30 ms or lower. Yeah. Now it's 20. So basically, the four to five now is the old uh, five bars only. Right. And not only that, but they said that for uh, four to five bars, and I assume so five bars as well, they have changed the matchmaking parameters too. So like mm -hmm. how the game finds it. But they haven't elaborated on it. just said that they it. Right, right. So the, I, I had my concerns. When I read this update, I did a video just reading up on these notes. So they're like, okay, four to fives are now fives. Right, three to five bar uh, search is good, like searching for four to five. And I'm like, I'm kind of worried here because like, I, I feel like there's gonna be problems where people cannot find any players at all now, right? Because the search is yeah. not as broad. And uh, I'm like, you know, cause I'm still, I just don't want to play people that are like two countries away from me, but people were calling me out on my ignorance from here cause I live in Canada. And they're <laughs> like, just know best for that in Europe and places like that, countries are very, there's many countries very close to us. Right. And yes. For me, it's a lot different when I say two countries away, which is like on another continent almost, you know. But yeah, that, that was part of my uh, kind of like theory of why you would be getting, you know, people from Mexico or even, you know, South America is that they maybe put it in the uh, game as, you know, if it's two countries distance, then yeah. it's fine because right. they were thinking, say, Asia or I mean, not even Asia, but like Japan uh -huh. or uh, Europe, where, you know, two countries is literally like, can be 20 kilometers well right. in uh in uh yeah in canada like two countries is the entire continent <laughs> well the more you learn but <laughs> but yeah so i actually so i'll explain the problem i have with the new matchmaking so basically now um when i when i search five bar i can't it, it takes forever to find a match well, well in any bar honestly it takes forever to find a match it's Usually I find a match, I mean, I'm lucky, I find a match usually less than a minute. It, it, it's very fast. It only takes a few seconds for me to find a match. I go back to back, back to back, back to back. And this was, I'm talking, um, talking about the patch before this when we had the neck hold update. It was back to back mm -hmm. matches and most of them were good. 90% of the time they were good for me. And now it takes a very long time. Sometimes it can take up to 10 minutes to find a match. So obviously I'm going to lower the parameters a bit more. And when I do find a match, by the way, it's always against the same person. And I just, there's still a big player base playing Street Fighter V online. And the fact that like, this can be the only guy that just happens to have this ping. Uh, also keep in mind too, that it depends on your rank, right? Since I'm in high diamond rank, there's gonna be a much fewer player base to play against, right? Than mm -hmm. if I were in bronze or silver, right? Where there's the, the bell curve is a lot higher. And yeah. so now we run into the issue where I'm, I'm playing the same person over and over again. and. If I go with three to five bars, which was four to five bars before, it still feels different, Mir. It still takes a lot longer, even though it's technically the exact same ping as last time. And on top of all of this, even though Capcom did not note that they, they didn't change any of the netcode, 
when I'm playing some of the same players that I always play, they're, it's laggy now. Like, it's literally mm. stuttering and freezing during the match. And I don't know why. It's crazy. So, it's just been a horrible experience for me, personally. I, I don't know about you. I mean, I can't really say, mostly because Europe is such a, you know, like, small continent. There's so many countries nearby. Right. So, like, even if I get a player from France, even before uh, France, Germany, even the UK, the connections were all really good. And the internet in Europe is pretty good as well. So, right. that helps. I didn't really get a lot of laggy connections, and I usually searched for five bars, and yeah. I would get matches relatively often. At least after, you know, I, I managed to fix my issue where I couldn't find matches at all. That right. was what happened to me first. But right. yeah, it doesn't change much for me. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand from Capcom's perspective, like, it should be frustrating because, I, like, the Street Fighter Five player base, it's still big, but it's, like, that's in fighting game terms. You know, like, it's still yeah. only a couple thousand people. It's not, like, other huge games, right? And and mm -hmm. Capcom understands that, hey, if we go a little too strict on this ping restriction, it's really going to limit the area on all the connections you can get, and you are going to play the same players over and over again. So I understand that, but I don't understand why, why I'm playing the same players now and it's laggier than before. I feel like the matchmaking... Uh, what Capcom needs to improve on at this point, uh, besides possibly reverting back to before, if the if the if what people are saying, I'm seeing a lot of negative feedback. But I, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not seeing everyone's feedback. But for most part, it's mostly negative from what I've seen. Uh, they need to give us more information on the players that we're playing. I'll get more into that. But uh, keep in mind, guys, there's a there's a poll going on from Capcom. Actually, let me bring that up. And Capcom's asking for feedback on people on uh, you know if if things have improved, how much have they improved for everyone. And like I said, the last time I checked this poll, it was, it was, uh, what's it called? Works. Mostly negative. Yeah, oh, and I, I voted, and I'm checking the poll right now, and yeah, the, the majority says it's worse. Almost 38% say it's worse than before. So, I mean, at least Catcom is looking for that, that feedback, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully, yeah, they can do something with this. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if there are search parameters. It's possible, like, this is uh, just, you know, theory. But it's possible that with the current uh, rank restrictions put in place, uh, where you know people of a certain rank can only find people in a certain amount, like basically a certain amount of distance from their rank, yeah. And with yeah. the newer search parameters for connection, then right. you know there's not a lot of people. Maybe like people that are in their high diamonds, for example, they're looking for five bars only. Yeah. or four to five because they don't want to play leggy matches yeah and since there's a lot of people that are playing like that and there's not a big huge margin of uh not margin but selection of players around that rank that now like everyone starved for connection basically because no one really has that good a connection with anyone else right and especially at least in the right in the u.s north america right <laughs> like if they had this kind of strict region like like the way it is right now, when the if the game just came out, maybe it would have worked, right? Mm -hmm. But I just kind of like we're at the end of Street Fighter V's life. Maybe it's just not as effective. But I, like I said, guys, make sure you guys go to uh, the Street Fighter Twitter and and vote on that poll and give your feedback to Capcom if it's better or worse, just so they know and try to be a little specific about about what's worse. Because most of the feedback I've seen is people are playing the same players, or it's taking too long mm -hmm. to find a, a match in general. And I, I, like I said, everyone's in different ranks, right? So everyone's gonna have different experiences. And uh, another thing too, Mirrors, I left some feedback on the, the what I, personally what I would want for me would be just to go back to what it was before with just the netcode yeah. update and give us the visual on the matching. So when we find a match, instead of just showing the bars, the bars really don't mean anything. I played tons of yeah, five bar matches. More just, information. Yeah, just give us the ping, give us the country, give us the platform. And tell me if it's wired or Wi-Fi. Like that, those are essential. I think those four things yeah. should give us. I mean, there's there's more you can do than that, but I think those that those four things can tell me right away is the match worth playing. And I could just hit cancel it and just wait a few seconds for the next match to appear. I think that would solve a lot of problems. And then that way you're getting a, a bunch of matches in. You know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like for me, for example, like I said, living in Europe, uh, I usually don't really get bad connections. So, right. I mean, personally, I, uh, I, I'm doing okay. So, like, knowing, you know, if by chance I got someone from Asia or Africa, like, that, that could be important for me, too. Yeah. Because those are usually the connections that end up being worse. Yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah. So, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, let us know in the comments below, like, how has it been so far for you guys? For Street Fighter Five, you guys notice a difference in your matchmaking? Or are you guys searching for three to five bar like me and playing the same players? 
uh, I'm really interested to know. And make sure you guys leave your feedback on Capcom if you get the chance on their Street Fighter Twitter. I'll try to remember to leave a link for you guys for that straw poll. Or not straw poll, the, the voting thing. But uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So stay safe, everyone. I hope everyone is well. And uh, yeah, Mir, we'll keep these guys posted when we get some more Street Fighter news and see what Capcom does next uh, with the netcode. So take care, guys. Peace out.